my friends, my name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode from the Truly Bedrock Let's Play server. Oh, man, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Oh, man, we have some serious work today. Hello, baby sheep over there. <laughs> We're going to take care of some business, that's for sure. Listen, we've neglected that far side of our base over there, the crop farms. Now, we do have the pumpkin patch. I mean, it's late in the fall. We can keep it a little bit longer. I think when it comes around to December, though, we may have to convert that to something else. But what I want to do today is I want to do some work over here on the far side of these fields. It was always my plan to have like a set of houses over here, like maybe a farmhouse, a barn, a stable, stuff like that. You know, the stuff like a chicken coop, maybe, where we could store... Uh, for in-game purposes, some of our animal friends, right? Have a chicken farm over here, have them walking around, doing their chicken thing, all that kind of stuff. But before we can do that, we have to kind of get our way over there. Can we fly? Yeah. So over here is going to be where the old farmstead is going to be. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of terraforming. I may actually even bring some dirt over and fill in this low spot. I think that's probably something we need to get done. Fill in this low spot along the river and sort of bring it all to this level. I mean, ideally we should be able to, we should be good enough at doing whatever we need to to work within our constraints here, but um, I'm going to want a straight shot. If anything, it would be nicer if it was actually up a level. So maybe we could even do that. We could terraform all of this in here and actually rise it up a little bit a level or two just so we can kind of look over oh look at our base from over here doesn't that look awesome oh man i love <laughs> minecraft <laughs> anyway we've got to first cut through our field here uh, we can't have a farmhouse over here if there's not a way that we can actually get over here from over there so we have to find where this path is because we're like we need a machete to walk through here hold on a second can we get to the other side Where's the path? Uh, over there. Oh, way up there? Hold on. Yes. Right here. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's a nightmare trying to walk through there. Can I climb up one here? Yes. Okay. So right now, this path ends at this point. We're going to need to extend it out through. Sort of maybe we'll cut like that way through the sugarcane field and then we need to get some grass growing in there and convert it all back into path blocks we're going to make it a little bit wider as well this is a little narrow i want to do like three or four blocks wide and then it'll lead us over there so that's the first thing we need to do let's actually together let's rough this thing out i think maybe do i have any blocks no okay so this right here needs to kind of stay okay that's good that we can do whatever let's go get some let's go grab some dirt real quick maybe oh i've been working on so much stuff around this base oh, it's really starting to come together we got to keep grinding though we have a long way to go before we're going to consider this thing even remotely finished i mean like a long way to go no question all right let's grab some dirt real quick uh, oh inside i don't really have anything new to show you down here we're still just taking care of business that's for sure. All right. We're probably going to need tons of dirt, but let's actually just get a little bit right now, just so we can cut this path through. And then I'll do all the, like, terraforming, kind of boring stuff off camera, and we'll kind of go from there. So, I had a buddy of mine one time built a farmhouse. Like, he grew up uh, in real life in Kansas, and I guess he grew up sort of like on a farmhouse. And I remember him building an awesome farmhouse and doing a really good little technique for, like, the driveway. And maybe we'll try to do that here again as well, also. <laughs> Those are the words. All right, so we want to sort of cut this off. I don't really care about the fence so much, right? I just want to have, like, a nice path. Get a little bit of extra sugar cane out of this deal. It's kind of nice. Let's just sort of make ourselves a, a way through. Like that, maybe? That's probably going to be all right. All right, and then we can break these out. And there, I guess I brought more dirt than I needed. We just needed to be able to... Oh, that's probably not good. Um, take this out. Okay. We may need to keep this guy in here. Like that. Okay. We're going to lose some sugar cane. I'm not too worried about it, but we might. If, if it pops off, it pops off. Not a big deal. Like, we're going to lose some here, probably. Yeah, that's okay. And we'll lose a little bit there. That's just the cost of doing business. Uh, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, and we'll lose whatever we lose on our way through. Maybe take this guy. Okay, that's good. Uh, maybe this guy as well. I feel like it needs to be a little bit wider. Let's take this out and... Uh, <laughs> maybe this one. And then this one. Okay, so there we go. So now we have a path through the sugar cane. We just need to wait till this all converts to... I feel like this... I don't... I don't like that right there maybe I think this needs to be taken out that's going to lose one or two but that's all right all right so that's better so this is where the path is going to sort of snake its way through maybe we should put in walls along the edge that means we'll probably need to widen it even a little bit more but that's okay we can do that and then we're going to come out here and the goal will be for us to be able to sort of walk along maybe climb a little bit of a hill just one or two blocks up and then our farmhouse area is going to be sitting up here and we're going to go small we're not going to do anything monsterly big i don't think at least i don't see a reason to yeah i think it's going to be awesome so let me get a little bit of path work done a little bit of terraforming work done and i'll bring you back on the other side we'll take a look and see what this thing looks like you have to go as well my friend and then we'll kind of go from there i'll see you in just a second Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, after a little bit of work, didn't take very long, I've got myself a pretty sweet little path through the old sugarcane farm over to our newly, uh, I was going to say terraformed, but I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> we just filled in the area with dirt, kind of evened off the low spots and then raised everything up by another block. I'm pretty happy. The shape of this thing is a little bit weird. We'll see it later from the air. Um, I, it's, I don't know what the deal is. I'm not sure exactly what we need to do, but I think whatever it is, we can cover it up whenever we start actually putting in our building over here. Okay, speaking of buildings, I have to figure out where I'm going to put the old farmhouse. I think that's key. I think that should be first. I'm actually really, I'm like, I'm really getting excited about the idea of building over here. I think that, you know, I love my nether corruption stuff, but... As with most things in Minecraft, it's always nice to like step away and work on something else for a while, and then you sort of get reinvigorated to go back over there and work, if that makes sense, right? So I think we're going to be, you know, we have a river dividing these two areas, so we'll be working <laughs> either on the left bank or the right bank, I guess. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Okay. I do think we're going to square our house up, though, like face in here. I think we'll start maybe right here. Let's just dig out a little bit of dirt, even though we just literally put it in. I mean, this is more than we need, but I'd rather have more than we need than than not enough. Let's see, where does that go? Oh, is that perfect? Yes. Okay, so I think that's where we'll start. Now, we have to think about what the size of this house is going to be. And we're going to use cobblestone for sort of like the foundation or the base. And we might even go up, I think we'll go up two blocks. Let's actually just clear out the rest of this real quick and see what it ends up looking like as far as the space is concerned. All right, perfect. And maybe we'll go like so. Okay. All right, that should work. Put a couple pieces in there to fill that back in. All right, awesome. So if I start right here, one, two, three, four. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I think seven might be, let's do nine. How about we do nine wide? Let's sleep through the night real quick. Man, I had a terrible thing happen to me, now that I can look over there and see that. Uh, at my farm, somehow a creeper spawned. I think what happened is maybe a mob could see me, and like a skeleton tried to shoot me and hit a creeper, but there was an explosion. Oh, baby horses. And I, I didn't die, but I came back and all of my trident killer was exploded and everything was full. Oh, man, it was a nightmare. Let's see. Okay, so nine wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Maybe nine by thirteen sounds like a adequate size for our little farmhouse here. I'm not too worried about the interior space because we're not really going to be using it all that much. And I do plan to have sort of like a uh, like a covered area off to one side of it. Uh, so we can store, you know, like our crops. Um, I watched a video, I, I saw it like a while ago, and I watched it again today by um, a YouTuber named Crafting Mantis. Uh, she plays over on the Obsidian Order server, and I've been a fan of her build style for a long while, and she actually has a building, 
that's very similar to what we're about to do. So uh, we're going to loosely use her design. I'll put a link in the description box to her video uh, if you want to go check it out. I really like her content. She's a good builder, that's for sure. Okay, so uh, I've got, I went and farmed up a bunch of spruce. So we have spruce. Do we want to go up another? I sort of want to go. I want to have this like off the ground a little bit so we have a little bit of a step to go up into it. I mean, I think that makes sense to me. I don't know if I brought enough cobblestone or if I brought just enough. Let's go ahead and get this done real quick. It'll just take a moment of your time. There's so many great content creators out there uh, that if you watch, you you can gain so much inspiration from. And I think maybe that's the power of YouTube videos. Is It's not that, oh, this person's telling me how to play the game, at least for me. It's, I just get so much, I get inspired after watching folks. I think it's really good. Okay, so we're going to go right here in this corner, and we're going to use some spruce spruce logs one two three four five maybe uh, let's do start with five and we'll see if we have to go higher than that one two three four five one two three four five we'll also then be able to once we sort of get this frame in we'll be able to sort of go around a little bit one two three four five and then I think maybe yeah, I think we'll go like that, and we'll bring, put like a, a ring of posts around the top of this. We'll use that one to be vertical. I always like to do, like in my mind, that's how the posts would be. You know, they would sort of be intersecting there. They would cut out a notch and lay them on top of each other to make this sort of beam that goes around. I'm not sure it was a transom, maybe. I'm not an architect. <laughs> but to me, that's how I would, that, that at least makes sense, that these big logs would be cut so they could lay and sort of nestle in each other like you cut a notch out of the one like you would go cut this half this way and then this one would be the other way around so they would lay there and then they would sort of lock together and you wouldn't have to use any sort of fastener okay we'll go like this i guess if you could find big long i mean i guess we could here in the minecraft world right having a 13 block tall spruce tree is not that big of a deal especially if it's a big one all right let's go finish up this corner and this corner like so okay perfect all right so i think that's going to be the sides of the house and then i've got some green terracotta here and this is going to be the inside walls we have to figure out where we're going to do uh, windows but we can at least get this initial ring going like so okay and then we'll have a one a one block tall entrance I don't have enough I don't think maybe no I don't uh, we're gonna have to go higher than this we'll have to get some more I didn't have any more I have plenty of green dye I didn't have any regular terracotta I'll have to find some Okay, and then like that. Okay, so this will at least give us this idea of what this thing is going to look like uh, from a distance. But I really like the way that that green terracotta looks against the spruce. Oh, man, I think it looks amazing. Oh, yeah, boy. And then this is going to give us lots of opportunity to do some landscaping and to build a path and some stairs and some stuff like that. I think it's going to be awesome. We'll have stairs leading up into the house. Yeah, and then we can do some stuff around the outside. Maybe even bring bring the dirt up a little bit higher again. I've got to, I'm sort of debating on whether or not I want it like that. I think I do. I think I do. All right, let's go take a quick fly away. We'll head over this way so we can turn around and get a long, slow glide back in. Yeah, that little house sitting over there is going to be all right. Let's head maybe this way a little bit. Looking for a nice slow glide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to look great. And it's going to be big enough. That's not too big, do you think? For like a farmhouse? Let's go up here. <laughs> Our gliding skills leave something to be desired, I think. All right, let's go over here like so. Okay, so this is going to be sitting over there. I don't think that's going to be too big at all. Our fields are really big. That will also give us like a sense of scale for what else we can build over there. We get a roof on it. We'll get a chimney. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let me keep working on this thing for a little bit. I need to get some more green concrete. I need to figure out the roof line. I need to do some other little odds and ends, and I'll bring you back when we've sort of got a status update, and we'll kind of go from there. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I've been messing around with some roof designs, and I like what I've come up with. We're using honeycomb blocks for the roof, and from a distance, it looks really good. From up close, not so much. <laughs> but, I mean, we're going to be looking... I mean, I think it looks really good from a distance. It gives me that feeling of, like, a thatched roof, something a little bit different. Uh, the only problem... I tried to use hay bales. They did not look the way that I wanted them to, so I tore all those down. You can see I was far harvesting a little bit out there of my wheat field. The only downside that we have currently... Let's fly over there. Oh, hello. Are you actually, like, the guy or just, like, a guy? You're just a guy. <laughs> all right, let's go over... Oh, man, now we can't get over Let's fly. Okay, so the problem that I have now, I mean, even, so up close, obviously the honey blocks don't look great. We've got, you know, did a little bit of decoration underneath the edges. I'm actually really happy with the way that this thing turned out. I like the roof line. I like the way it looks. I think we're in pretty good shape. What I don't like is this. I don't like the green and this yellow color. They, I feel like they contrast way too much. And I don't, it's just no good. So I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do here to fix this. Um, I think we have to swap out all of it. I was sort of thinking that we could maybe get away with using cobble. So I brought you guys back before I did any whole scale changes here. I did went and got did go get some green. I thought I saw a creeper in there. I did go get some green concrete powder because I wanted to give the walls a little bit of contrast, but. I don't know. I don't think it looks good against the yellow of the honey blocks. And it's the the yellow is somewhat overpowering, so I think we have to we have to account for that. So we'll go like this maybe. Let's see. And I think we're gonna end up needing to go like that and then like that. Okay, and then we'll just fill out the rest of this. However much cobble that we have. That's all we've got. Let's at least take a look and see. I mean, I think cobble probably looks better. We, I wish we had more. I don't have any more in my inventory. We'll have to get some. Let's just go fly over here to our little vantage point. We'll look at it sort of sideways on. Yeah, I can already tell I like that. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can already tell that I like that better. Um, I, now, the only downside is I don't know about the base. Hmm. Let's, let me swap out all the green. We might leave those little pieces of wood in there. It kind of gives me that feeling that there's been some patches made. That like they're trying to patch up holes in this thing. I mean, we're out here in the middle of the field. It's a farmer, so he's not going to be too worried about how his... You know, he's going to repair it with whatever materials he has on hand. Now, one thing that you'll notice is this is dark oak up here. Right, this is dark oak stairs, and then this is spruce, and they sort of match. So we've got the like a consistent color. I never realized that was a thing before, but I, I I'm 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 completely on board with the way that that looks. We just got to figure out what we're gonna do for the walls. The green 100% does not work. Let's swap it all out for cobble and take another look, and then we'll see what we think from there. Yeah. All right. I'll see you in just a second. We also need some glass for the window. Gray stained, probably. All right, I'll see you in a second. All righty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so after a lot of back and forth and placing blocks and taking them back out, I finally settled on what I think is probably the final wall material, which is white terracotta, and I think it looks really good. We've got to get some, some glass up there in those windows, and we've got to figure out something to do with the inside upstairs. But so far, I'm really happy, and we've been trying to add lots and lots of detail to this thing, and I think I've kind of getting to the point where it looks to me we got to get some lights on the inside. That it kind of gives me this like Bavarian kind of look. I don't know why. Like in my brain, that feels like like a traditional Bavarian style looking house. And I happen to like it. All right, let's go on the back side here. And we'll repeat the work that we did on the front just to give this a little bit extra texture. Let me eat a little something and then we'll pillar up. I don't know if I have enough stairs. I may have to make a couple more. Maybe we should do that before we do go up on the hill. There's been a dog around here taking taking out these sheep left and right. Okay, let's make a couple more stairs. That's probably enough. Maybe a little bit more. Here, let's just make them all. We'll probably use them. Alright, so let's go over here and pillar ourselves up. Yeah, there's bad guys all over the place. We have to, we have to get some lights in this thing ASAP. Alright, so we're going to do that. Oh, 
fell off. Okay, and then we want to turn these upside down like that to give us a little bit of like a ledge. We're going to do this up here and then we'll run fences down the sides like so. One, two, three, four. Like that maybe? I don't know if we went all the way down like that or not. Let's go down and take a look. We'll go around the front. Uh, we also need to figure out how we're going to, if we're going to put multiple floors in this thing. I think we probably are. We got to get those bad guys out of there for sure. They're spawning up along the edge. Do we bring that all the way? Yeah, okay, that's the same. I think it looks pretty good. I, I am 100% getting like, I don't know, like a traditional Bavarian style house. And I think out here in our farm area, I think we're getting a farmhouse vibe. Now, I did raise this up a little bit. I added another layer of dirt to cover up that cobblestone platform that we had. I think that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I think that is going to be good. We're going to have to extend it out some more. We need to get more dirt. I don't have any. And I think we need to add a chimney to this thing to give it a little bit of life and then figure out what we're going to do on the inside. I, oh, I got to make a couple more trap doors. Let's do that right now uh, while I'm thinking of it or I will forget. Let me see. Trap doors. No. We need more dark oak logs or planks. That's good. Let's make a bunch of these. Maybe we can find other places to stick those as well. All right, let's go finish off this side of the the underside so we don't want, I don't want to see those blocks there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm down with that. Yep. All right, can we like maybe like do some of that even? Just to try to give this thing more detail if we can make it work that way. Yeah, it's going to be all right, I think. We have to make some more. But I'm trying to give it tons of detail on the bottom. I want it to be sort of ornate. Yeah, I'm down 100%. All right, so all I need to do now is figure out what we're going to do for a second floor in this thing, I think. There's bad guys around here. We've got to get make it so that things can't spawn. we got to get some light in there. I think we might just cap this off. I sort of want to have a second floor for storage, but, you know, I'm not 100% sure if we need it. Yeah, that guy thinks we do. <laughs> He's shaking his head. All right, so let me do a, go back and do a little bit more work. Get this thing finished out a little bit. I'm going to add some more of these trap doors around on the outsides, like there and around the back, so we have everything sort of matching. And then I think we're going to be in pretty good shape for this little farmhouse build. Let's take a quick fly away, and then we'll turn around and take a look over here across the fields. Oh, man. Yeah, that looks all right to me. And if you can imagine, all right, let's go over here, maybe. Okay, if, we, if you can imagine a series of buildings back there that sort of support the farm industry. Like, maybe we have an outbuilding, we have a silo, we have some stuff like that over there that kind of coincide with these crop farms. Maybe a place for storage, all of those different things that we can have over there. And then we can have kind of a like a scary side of our base and a fun side of our base and we can kind of flip flop back and forth between the two that'll give us something fun to do oh man i love it all right let me get back to work and i'll see you in just a second Alrighty, my friends we're back okay i think we're done with this house i'm still not 100 percent sure if it actually looks like a farmhouse but we are going to call it a farmhouse nonetheless Maybe a cottage farmhouse? <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I'm very happy with what we've got. So we made a couple changes, just minor changes. I've got some shutters on the windows all around. And on the end caps, like the gable ends of these roofs, I actually put on the inside uh, spruce trap doors. And it sort of makes it look like we almost have like window panes up there now. Because the glass panes actually connect. There's still panes but it kind of looks like they're individual panes instead of one big solid mass, which I like. We added shutters all around. We're going to go with white glass. I think that looks better, kind of this frosted look. We got shutters back here. Same treatment on the end cap, the gable end up there. We added some lights around the bottom of it. It certainly looks like a little cottage to me. I'm down 100%. And then if we go inside, I've got uh, stripped birch flooring. We've got random barrels around here. We've got some stuff up on shelves. We've got a like a cabinet in here on top of a shelf. 
beds here. We've got a roof. We can climb up top here if we want to. If we want to have some extra storage, get up here in the roof area. I think it looks pretty nice. I'm happy. I'm certainly not an interior decorator. Someone who is much better at this would probably make this place look pretty awesome. But all in all, I think that we have done good work. Now, let's take a little bit of a fly away, like so. We'll go out and around. Maybe we'll just loop around the Leap of Faith Tower. There we go. And we'll come in. Yeah, it looks nice over here sitting. Man, we're about to have ourselves a nice little area over here. We need to spread out the dirt a little bit more, I think. Yeah, can we slow down? Oh, I'm down. I'm 100% down. How much percent? 100%. That is for sure and for certain. Man, the sun is setting, and let's use that to call this episode a done deal. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. For all of your support lately, not only on the channel, but on my live streams and patrons and all, everything. You guys have blown me, have been blowing me away with your generosity, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my Truly Bedrock Let's Play series, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.